Hi, and welcome back to another C Sharp beginner tutorial for the Strike game engine. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at keyboard input. Now, if you've seen the previous tutorial on mouse input, you'll notice that keyboard input is very similar to mouse input. So this tutorial should be very brief and short. As you can see, I've opened up the keyboard input scene from the C Sharp beginner tutorial project. I've added an entity called keyboard input and I've attached the keyboard input demo script to which I've attached these three teapots. And we're going to rotate these teapots around by pressing and or holding down several keys on our keyboard. Just like with the mouse, we can check if we have an actual keyboard attached. So we can say input has keyboard. Let's first check if we have an actual key down. So what we need to do is say input if input is key down and then between the parentheses we can specify keys and then followed by the keys that we wish to check. Now obviously we have things like A, B, C, D but there are also special keys like space, the shift key, left shift and right shift to be exactly and another very common key set is the number keys. Now there are two types of number keys that we can address. We have the top row keys that you can find above all the letters, like say one or two, and these start with a letter, in this case D. So if I want to say, if I press key D5 or just five, then this key is being held down. If I want to use the numpad keys, I'll have to type in numpad first and the number behind numpad. Let's for now just use the D1 key, D1 to check if the 1 key is being held down. And when that happens, let's rotate that first teapot around. So let's just get the delta time real quick. And then rotate the blue teapot transform.rotation. We can multiply that with a quaternion rotation y. Add in a little value and multiply that with delta time. Now, instead of key down, check if a key has been pressed. So again, an if statement, input is key pressed in this case. Let's say key space. And then all we have to say is yellow teapot dot transform dot rotation quaternion rotation y and let's just multiply that with a fixed value there we go lastly if we say input is key released so when we are pressing down the key and then when we lift our fingers back up again then a key is being released let's use a different key here let's say keys Let's say that we want to check for one of the F keys above the number keys is being released. So F1 to F12. There we go. And let's just copy this line and rotate it into the different direction. And instead of the yellow teapot, let's just really rotate the green teapot. Let's run this and see what happens.